where do they go beyond just wearing these gowns on graduation day? Help me be an asset in the country. In the wake of increasing scarcity of jobs, how can they be helped to better their lives and the progress of the country? In the digital media age, where information is most times full of misinformation and disinformation. The Chancellor of Makerere University, Dr. Crispus Kionga, has an idea he floated during the 75th graduation of Makerere University. 50% of our arable land is idle. That would not be a problem, but the problem arises that side by side, 50% of arable land, we have varying degrees of food insecurity across the country. The emphasis is on agriculture and to bring on board all professionals, those specialized in specific disciplines, including agriculture at all levels of education in Uganda and beyond. You've heard President Museven talking a lot about integration, integration of Africa, integration of Western Africa, uh, trade, infrastructure, uh, etc. But we also need to come in with the intellectual side of integration. This week, the, the Vice Chancellor, Professor Nawangwe, signed an MOU with the Vice Chancellor of the University of Southern Africa, uh, which was excellent. But I did appeal to them, both our Vice Chancellor and the Vice Chancellor from the University of Southern Africa, that this should be a beginning of a journey, should be the beginning of a journey where more and more universities in Africa work together. This kind of collaboration, Dr. Kionga wants it nationalized. The motive is to impart agricultural knowledge into students, irrespective of their course disciplines. And this is the reason why he is proposing establishment of regional farms in Uganda. This could be a farm of crops, could be a farm of animals, but we want to have one farm in each region. The traditional regions, northern Uganda, western Uganda, Uganda, and eastern. We shall use that partnership with that particular farm to, to do outreaches. The, the students will go to this farm and work at that farm for some time. When they are working at that farm, they will also reach out to the surrounding small farms, the communities, and contribute to extending knowledge, extension, extending agricultural knowledge to the, to the people who live around that, uh, uh, that farm. Kionga, himself a farmer, wants to see more research in agriculture. The more reason he intends to engage PhD finalists. Where are they going? I'm not yet aware. These are rare resources. They have researched, in some cases, very relevant issues. I saw, saw three or four PhDs researching in sweet potatoes. I don't know what they are researching. I'm talking about sweet potatoes. But I also want researchers to, to, to solve what I may call structural issues. Why, why are we food insecure despite having arable land? Why is there such high level of malnutrition in the country despite having arable land? Maybe our, our, traditional, our traditional production system may have a problem. In the just concluded 75th Makerere University graduation, a total of 13,660 students were awarded, including agriculturalists. These ranged 
from PhD through to masters, bachelors, and some diplomas. Henry Okrut, UBC.